Hey everyone, so today is just going to be more practice interpreting derivatives. Right? So we're just going to do a whole bunch of questions and really hone in and, f and make strong that intuition that we practiced in the previous video. All right, so let's dive right into it. So first question, with little else to do during quarantine, you decide to do some weightlifting. Right? So we're going to now define this function C of W, right? C of W to be the number of calories you burn when using a mass, a weight of mass W, and the W, the weight is given in pounds. Right? So the first question I want to ask you is what are the units of C prime of W? Well, remember, the units of C prime of W, right, the units of a derivative are always going to be units of Y over units of X. I'm going to put these in quotation marks, right? Because really what these mean is that the, this is going to be the units of our dependent variable over the units of our independent variable. The units of our dependent variable over the units of our independent variable. Okay? So this one, in this case, it's going to be units of C over units of W is just going to be calories per LB, per pound. Fantastic. Calories per pound. Next question, what does C prime of 2 tell us? Well, that's actually, this in simple, in basic like derivative terms, that's just going to be the instantaneous Right, that's the instantaneous our rate of change of C right at um, W equals 2 right that's the instantaneous rate of change of C at W equals 2 now how can we put this in more meaningful words that actually you know in how do we put this in English basically well that tells us remember that tells us the this is going to tell us um, how fast uh, the number of calories we burn is changing, right? When we use a two pound weight. Right? So how fast the number of calories we burn is changing, right? That's, te that's, that's the derivative part, right? That's telling us um, how fast this, this, C, this guy here is changing, right? Uh, when we use a two pound weight, right? So that's what that thing really tells us, right? If we were to look at a graph, this guy right here would be the slope of that tangent line at the point W equals two. Awesome, so that's the first example there. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out some other videos. See you next time!